What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's lesson, we are going to look at the token management in Flutter using the deal package. In the last lesson, we have talked about how to manage the user state using cookie and session approach. Also, I have shown you how to implement the cookie manager using the deal package. For today, we're gonna use another approach, which is JWT token to manage the user state. So if you are new to my channel, uh, feel free to reach out to my channel page. You will find a bunch of Flutter tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thumb up my content, and open the notification so you won't miss out the latest Flutter tutorial. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. So first, let's look at what is JWT token. So for the JWT token, uh, compared with cookie and session approach, it's more lightweight. So in a server side, we are not store the token. We only store the JWT uh, secret, which can generate the same token uh, using the same uh, credential. Let's look at the JWT.io website. As you see, the JWT token consists of three parts, the header, payload, and the verify signature. And if you change any three of them, uh, you will set the signature verify failed. You will indicate it's uh, invalid signature. I also using the Node.js to implement a very simple backend that will assign the JWT token when you send a request to the server. And here I using the package which is called a JSON Web Token. And here as you see, I have my credential and also I have my uh, JWT secret. Uh, when you're sending the request to the home route, so first it will verify your token with the same uh, JWT secret. If it verify, uh, you will send the message tell you uh, you're welcome to the home page. Otherwise, you will indicate you are not authorized. And then I create another route, which is a post route. User need to log in with their username and password. Uh, when the user trying to log in, uh, we're going to assign uh, the new token to the user with their a username uh, along with our uh, JWT secret and we're going to uh, set the expire time for the token and also the algorithm to hash this uh, JWT token and then we send the token back to the user so the next time the user using the same token would go into this uh, home route I, if the token is verified it will into our home page which will show this message otherwise will indicate the user is unauthorized okay that's very simple just to route we will using uh, our front end which is uh, flutter to send a request and we're using the deal package and let's look at our front end so for the front end side uh, let's talk about this token manager we showed in the last lesson, we implement a cookie manager to manage the cookies aside by the server side. So in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to look at this token manager. So for the token manager, we're using the same approach, which is a singleton to uh, generate our token manager. And there are two ways to uh, create a single term. So first you're using this uh, factor, factory uh, constructor and you make it this uh, private uh, name constructor. So another one is you're using uh, the static field uh, make it, it using this get keyword and you will guarantee you to get the same instant every time when you're trying to access this object. And then we will have these uh, string token. And by the way, it is extend this interceptor. So every time the request uh, or response will capture by this uh, interceptor. 
So for the response, we're going to save the token to our uh, local storage, right? We are using the share preferences in this time. So we were using the share preferences to store our token. And also, uh, if the response state is equal for one, uh, we're going to clear our token in local storage. And for the request, so every request we send to the server, we're going to append our token. As you see, uh, I using this option, request option dot header, I append our token and then send it back to the server. So I will call uh, this route, this home route, and I'm going to verify if my token is valid. If it's valid, I will allow user to access our home route. Otherwise, I will uh, say something wrong. Okay. The token manager class also contain this initial cookie method. We will use this uh, method in our main.dart. So before we run our application, uh, first I will call token manager instant dot initialize our token to check if we have token in our local storage. If we have the token, uh, we just append a token to every request we send. Otherwise, we just make it now. So back to the token manager, uh, we have uh, another two methods. One is save token, save the token to our local storage. Another one is clear token, which will clear our token in the local storage. Okay, that's uh, pretty much it for our token manager. It's pretty very similar like what we did in our cookie and session approach. Uh, let's look at our uh, login screen. So for the login screen, uh, we have these uh, token manager interceptor app to our uh, deal client so interceptors. So you will capture all our requests and response. Okay. So let's try to test our application. So first, uh, let's input a wrong uh, user credential. So let's try to log in. Uh, you will see in the console we will have the message back shows. Uh, we are have a wrong password or user are not found. So uh, this time, uh, let's uh, type the correct password. So let's try login. So after we have a, a correct user credential, you will uh, print out our token, which assigned to us. Okay. So now, so let's try restart this application. Since we already have token, so every time I restart this application, you will append a token to the server. So that means I don't need to log in again. And as you see, so in our backend, we will assign the token that will expire or 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds, uh, when you refresh this application, uh, you will ask you to uh, log in again because your token is expired. Uh, another one is uh, when you uh, manually hit this logout button. So let's check out our logout screen. So when you hit this logout button, uh, I call the token manager clear token. So I will clear the token in our local storage and also in our local variable. So next time uh, when you're trying to uh, restart this application, you won't uh, append your token to the server because they was uh, being assigned to now let's try to uh, press this logout button so when I press this logout button and then I refresh this application as you see you won't uh, direct me to the home page because uh, I already clear out my token so you will show my status code is 41 Right. Okay, so let's look at the backend. So next time when I re, uh, start this application, you will uh, verify the token since we clear our token. So you will get this 401 status code means uh, we are unauthorized as you see here. Okay, I think that's all for today's lesson. You will need to make your own decision like 
which method or approach you're going to use to keep the user state. Uh, you could either use cookie session approach or this token approach. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, sum up my content, and open a notification so you won't miss out the latest Flutter tutorial. Okay, I will see you in next one.